how to uh, fix a Craftsman battery charger. This is the older style batteries, not the red ones. They look like that. This is 7.2 24 volts. I, the issue I had was when I put the battery in, I'd have to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it to get the right position to charge. So I took the cover off from underneath. There's like six screws. These are security, security torxes, security allen, same thing. Just one with a hole in it. You need a little bit with the hole in it, the security bits. I don't think you're really able to focus on that that much, but it's got a hex head with a hole in it. Took those off, and I put the battery in here, and I couldn't figure still why is it charging. Then I noticed when I played with the switch, which has a like a pin out here, uh, it uh, actually switch gets touched directly on the top. It was charging. So then there's a piece in here, you're not going to be able to see it. But that push that this is into the battery pushes this, which pushes the switch. So all I did was add a little bit of glue, maybe a sixteenth, an eighth inch of hot glue. You could probably wrap some tape around it or glue a little piece of plastic to it. So that's going to push the charger in. So we're putting the cover on. Bear with me. And if we get it right, let me pause it while we finish that up. Okay, now I put the battery on and it's working. It's charging. I had to push the cover back a little bit and tilt it because that piece had a little extra material on there. Push the back cover, slide it in on an angle, up and down. Now make sure before you do this, you shut it off, unplug it. So now I just put the battery instantly in and it starts charging. I'm going to take it out again. Hold on, with the camera angle. Take it out, nice and tight. Put it in. Boom, the wiggle's gone. And said, so this slight push, come well, with the thing, push it in the back and push it forward, slide it in. So I guess the switch problem solved. I was about to throw this thing out, but I got two chargers because I move all around and a couple extra batteries. So hopefully you find this video useful. And this is just one possible repair, a simple one you can do at home.